Morning, Eugenia. So I just wanted to share. So this is uh, our neighborhood, whoops, our neighborhood data for the vicinity of Kingswood Estates where 1208 Lord's Way is located. And so this is our dynamic pricing tool and this gives me market specific uh, data in real time so I can see all of your competitors that are in and around your guys' cabin. So you're the square. So average price right now is 448 a night. Um, if we look at competitors, so this is the new build right down the house, uh, or excuse me, right down the road, like four or five houses down that was just built. They're at 559. Uh, the other one that was just built right at the cul-de-sac with that view of Lake Tahoe, 564. Uh, jump across the street on Lord's Way, 474, 570, 372, 798. So just to share in comparison to kind of the surrounding properties, we're not priced the highest because we don't have the amenities. The house is lovely now. You guys have done an amazing job but I need you to really understand and comprehend from a guest standpoint in a highly competitive market like the Tahoe Basin, North Lake Tahoe, you are not going to fetch a ton of high priced bookings way in advance. Okay, the average stay in your area is three nights. Bookings before arrival, it's 35 days out. Okay, and your market occupancy is right around 47%. When you factor in all of these rentals, they're 47% full year round. Okay, what we are focusing in on is the customer experience, the customer service that me and Danielle provide as Yeti co hosting and your local presence. And what we need to work on is the experiences that you can offer at the cabin. We're solely dependent right now on the resort at North Star opening, which it opens on November 22nd. So we're not gonna see any traction until right around then for winter high season. The other thing you need to really understand is you don't want bookings way far in advance. That means you've priced it too low. It's like a poker game. You can't show your cards. You have to essentially bluff, for lack of a better word. You need to wait. Within this 35 to roughly, I would say 28 or maybe even 22 day mark in high season is when you're gonna capture the highest amount per night with the highest qualified guest, meaning they're ranked highly on an online travel agency like Verbo or Airbnb. And it's that blend of the two. We don't just want the highest priced with no ratings, or we don't want the highest rated guest who's looking for the cheapest deal imaginable. So we price it accordingly in order to fetch the best blend of guest for the most amount of money. Now, once we start this winter high season with the listing on Guesty, that allows us to be on numerous OTAs. Currently, we're just on Airbnb and Verbo. We will be expanding, but there's an inherent risk that I don't think you guys truly understand that we, as your co-host, have to take. So that leads me into payouts. We're the merchant of record we have to deal with credit cards being taken globally. This is a huge, huge risk. People can do chargebacks. People can create fraudulent accounts and have fraudulent cards. People can do many different things with a credit card because credit card agencies provide a ton of protection, which is why we have to follow trust accounting principles and why we cannot pay you out instantaneously because first and foremost, we don't even get the funds from the OTA yet. It's no different than it was before. They don't release the funds until the guest has stayed at the property for 24 hours. Now, when we offer a book direct through Yeti co-hosting, we will then receive a 
fraction of the payment and then another fraction of the payment. And the reason we do that is we are trying to entice people to book on their emotions because that's how people buy. They buy on emotion, right? They book a property, they get the warm fuzzies after seeing the reviews, the photos, and they book. When you have a price tag of $10,000 versus a price tag of 4,500 and then 5,500, it's much easier for somebody to swallow that pill and click confirmed booking and have two separate payments. Now, we split the payments up so that one is 49% and the other one is 51%. We do that in order to not have the credit card companies flag any duplicate charges. If we did a 50-50 and say somebody books very close to arrival, it gets flagged as fraud potentially with the credit card agency and then it puts a hold on those funds and they don't get released. It creates a nightmare for us, Yeti, as the merchant of record. And then we don't have the funds to then allow payout at the end of the month because they're hung up based on all of the rule sets in place with credit card companies, transactions, etc. So then you've allowed the guest to stay at the property and we don't have any money in the trust account. So that explains kind of everything in a nutshell that was in your text. I just wanted to share. We do not want to start getting bookings until Thanksgiving or even a little after. And the resort at North Star is going to dictate what you guys are going to be able to capture this winter because you don't have any amenities. The house is beautiful and it's a great selling point once we get these new photos up on the listing, which will be by Friday, which is awesome. Nick did the photo shoot. He has a 48 hour turnaround. So we're definitely going to get those and we're going to see a drastic shift in listing views, listing clicks and potential inquiries and confirmed bookings. But what I need to stress is you don't want to lower the price and you don't want to panic. We need to focus on the main core values of hospitality, which is great communication and great customer experiences. Now, they're gonna have a great experience in the cabin, no doubt. It's gonna be charming, it's beautiful, it's completely outfitted perfectly. The only drawback is you don't have a hot tub, you don't have a sauna, you don't have any type of activity that wants to keep the guests at the property, okay? You guys have a foosball table, which is great. That helps a little bit, but that's not enough to make a group of eight or 10 people want to book your cabin. What would make it stand out more is, hey, they have a hot tub and a barrel sauna, or they have some crazy unique amenity that none of the competitors in your surrounding area have. And I can guarantee a lot of these rentals at least have a hot tub, okay? Number two, things that we're investing in on our properties to make our houses even stand out after seven years of doing this and being super hosts on Airbnb and premier hosts on Verbo is what Guesty allows us to do, which is to branch out to other online travel agencies and provide the book direct option. Okay, the book direct option will be live November 22nd, the same day North Star Resort opens, okay? This has been eight years in the running for us, uh, tens of thousands of dollars uh, just recently in this API integration. So I just need you to really understand, please be patient. You need to be patient because we have made so many back end changes that are going to take effect this winter high season for not just you, but for all of our clients and mine and Danielle's two houses. So please just trust the process. Yes, it's different, but being only on Airbnb like we were is a huge negative, okay? First and foremost, there are way more people looking outside of Airbnb to book houses. Okay, so we have provided the solution for that. It just takes a little while to implement all of that. 
And so we will be up and running for winter high season when it matters in order to be able to start capturing book direct traffic, different OTA traffic, and we can expand to many different OTAs. But as we expand to many different OTAs, the inherent risk of having fraud, having chargebacks, that increases. So we need to be extremely careful and we need to slowly build out which OTAs we wanna add in addition to the main OTAs, like the giants in the industry, which are Airbnb, Verbo, I'm gonna say it's booking.com, Expedia, and probably Google now. So that is where we are going, but it doesn't happen overnight. And I'm not willing to make it happen overnight because bad things will happen. And that's what we are trying to avoid. Slowly building this out over the next few months will really help solidify long-term gains for everybody. So I just wanna share, this is your competition. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 other four bedroom houses within a two to three block radius. You have immense competition. So one thing that we are now going to be able to compete with is the interior remodeled aspect of the cabin. Also, we went from a three bedroom to a four bedroom. So not only did we allow for two more people to sleep there so we can have 10, but we also increased the value of your guys' home, probably a couple hundred thousand dollars of equity that you guys earned that you can draw off of if you ever need to, to help offset some of the investment that you guys have been spending over the last year. So please understand we are playing the long game and it's not going to happen overnight. It is going to happen though, I can guarantee it because with this comp uh, very stiff competition within two to three block vicinity, I can guarantee you most of these folks are just on Airbnb. So with that said, the next thing you need to look at is creating more of an experience at the cabin. Okay, me and Danielle can create an experience with our great customer service that doesn't get portrayed until a guest actually arrives and then reviews. Okay, so that will happen as we get into winter high season, but you need to seriously think about hot tub or dry sauna or landscaping or fenced in yard for dogs, because that's what this whole area right here, that's what you're able to provide. Okay. What me and Danielle are thinking for our two properties now, we have a fenced in yard, we have a sauna, we have a, a saltwater hot tub, um, I have arcades. Uh, we have just about everything you can possibly think of, a fenced in half acre. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a mod pool. If you've never heard of them, you can look it up. It's a BC, British Columbia company. They install shipping container pools, and you can get them in 12, 16, 20, uh, and 40, uh, 40 feet. We're gonna install a 40 foot one out at our property in Sierra Valley. And we're gonna also uh, install a <clears throat> mod pool at our Sierra Meadows property. It's gonna be a 16 foot mod pool. Pools, nobody has a pool. So when somebody is looking and searching and sees pool, you're gonna be number one. It's going to be the raving property that nobody else can compete with when you have an amenity like that. And I can tell you, if you were able to do something like that, that is so unique and provides an unparalleled experience to the 15 other four bedroom uh, properties within three blocks of your house, you guys are gonna be making eight or $900 a night. But if you don't start realizing that it requires an experience and not just a nice house, we will just be kind of run of the mill 
It'll take a little longer to build the reputation with regards to reviews and all the different platforms, but it will happen. It's just going to take longer. So what I recommend is, is you guys really truly think about springtime of 2025. You need to do something that creates an experience that none of these other 15 bedroom four, four or, or excuse me, these other 15 properties that are four bedrooms within three blocks have. So I think from a financial standpoint, a barrel sauna is the cheapest. You can get one from Costco for four grand. The next thing would be a hot tub. You can go low end on that and then hookup fees, okay? Uh, landscaping is another possibility along with fencing in a portion of the yard to say you have a fully fenced area to allow one dog. Those are three semi-inexpensive -in um, possibilities to create better experiences at the property. The last one would be seriously considering if it's at all possible, which I think it is because you guys are in plaster just like me and you have the yard space, think about getting a 12 or a 16 foot mod pool. You can heat it, you can do it all for like probably 30 or 40 grand. So these are things that you have to be thinking of. You can't think of your house as, I have a house that's nice and I'm gonna get bookings. Those days are long gone. We have to get extremely creative. We are now really marketing it to the masses more so than your competition, but that's what it takes. And so I really need you guys to understand that because I feel from the interaction that I keep having with you is that because you guys are throwing a lot of money at the interior, you're expecting to just get all of these bookings. That's not the case. You're gonna see on the back end, great reviews. It's charming, it was lovely, the interior is beautiful but that's all you're really going to get from that investment on the interior of your home, okay? So this is what I wanted to share with you. It gives you a little bit more insight, gives you average uh, market booking window in this uh, neighborhood, which is 35 days from confirmed booking to arrival. Your occupancy year round is just under 50% and market average daily rates is right around $600 for four bedroom homes. You have 15 within three blocks of your house. You guys have a lot of competition. I need you to understand that as well. It's not like you're the only one in this neighborhood or two or three. There's 15 other four bedroom homes. That's what we're competing against.